Hi guys, my name is Shad. In this tutorial, we are going to create logical dimensions with parent-child hierarchy. So we are going to open the repository in offline mode, import metadata and define physical layer objects, create the logical table and logical columns, then create the logical join, uh, then we'll create a parent-child logical dimension, then define parent-child settings, uh, then create presentation layer objects, and finally we'll test our work. For now, let's go ahead and open the repository. Click on File, then be a sample on Recent. Enter repository password. In physical layer, expand ORCL so we can now import metadata. So I will click on the plus sign here. Right click where it says connection pool. Then click on import metadata. The import wizard will open. On data types, leave the default as is. Then on select metadata object, expand BI sample under data source view. When you do so, select the tables shown on the list. Sample employee DVH. Sample employee parent child map. Then sample employee position D. When done, click on the import selected button. When the importing is completed, click on the finish button. Go ahead and confirm that the three tables are available in the physical layer. Right click on the sample or sample employee parent child map physical table. Click on view data. This right here is a parent child relationship table. It contains roles that define the detailed member relationships of the employee hierarchy. Close this and we'll now create aliases. Right click sample employee DVH, go to new object, then click on alias. Type D50 sales rep as the name. When done, click OK. Right click on sample employee parent child map. I choose new object, then alias. Name this D51 sales rep parent child. When done, just click OK. Let's go ahead and right click on Sample Employee Position D. Go to New Object, then click on Alias. Name the alias D52 Sales Rep Position. There we go, just click OK. Next thing we're going to do is to create physical joints for the alias tables. I'll minimize this right here. Then go ahead and select all the three aliases we just created. Then include also F1 revenue. Right click over here, select physical diagram. Then click on selected objects only. I'm going to click on the zoom out button here. If you want, you can rearrange these in the order that you like. Now we can click on the new join button. Click on the D50 sales rep and drag to D52 sales rep position. In the physical foreign key dialog box, on the left side here, select position key column. Then on the right side, also select position key column. Confirm join expression down here, then press OK. Next, we drag the join from D51 to D50. On the left side under D50, choose employee key as the column. Then on the right side, choose ancestor key. Press OK. Now drag the join from F1 to D51. On the left side, we're going to choose the member key as the column. There we go. Under F1 revenue, we're going to choose employee key as the column. When done, press OK. We're done creating physical joints. You can confirm your joints by double-clicking on the arrows. 
For now, next thing is to create logical table and logical columns, plus the physical diagram. In the BMM layer, right click on sample cells, go to new object, then click logical table. In the logical table dialog box, enter D5 cells rep as the name. Click OK to close the dialog box. D5 sales rep is added to the business model. Next thing we need to do uh, is to expand D50 sales rep in the physical layer. After you do that, select all the six columns in here. Drag these columns to D5 sales rep in the BM. A new logical table source is created right here. Right click on the table source and rename it to LTS1. Then cells rep. There we go. Now go into physical layer and expand D52 cells rep position. Excluding the position key, drag the other two columns to LTS1 cells rep in the BMM layer. Take note that we are dragging these to the table source, not the logical table. Otherwise, if you do so, another logical table would be created. Let's go back to the physical layer. Expand D51 cells rep parent child. Drag distance physical column to LTS1 cells rep table source. We can double click on the logical tables to check um, what their source tables are. Uh, for this shows D51. Now go ahead and double click on the employee name. Click on general tab, then rename this to sales rep name. When you're done, just press OK. Renaming this doesn't change the name of the physical column. Go ahead and rename employee key to sales rep number. Continue renaming following this list on the screen. Next thing we're going to do is to create a logical join. In the BMM layer, select D5 sales rep and F1 revenue. Right click on these tables, go to business model and then choose selected tables only. I will zoom this out so I can have the diagram in view. Now click on new join, click on F1 revenue, then drag the join to D5 sales rep. Leave the default cardinality and also you don't need to select any columns you just press ok go ahead and close the diagram the icon for d5 cells rep no longer have the number sign now guys we need to create a parent child logical dimension right click d5 cells rep go to create logical dimension and then click on dimension with parent child hierarchy uh, logical dimension dialog box opens on the general tab type the name as h5 sales rep click on the browse button next to the member key this window shows the physical table and also the related logical key if you click on view button here you'll be shown the logical key related to the table go ahead and click cancel right here then click ok to close the browse window now go ahead and click the browse button next to parent column. Here you will be able to see the columns within the table. Go ahead and deselect the show qualified name box. After doing so, select manager number as the parent column for the parent child hierarchy. Go ahead and click OK to close the browse window, uh, but leave the logical dimension dialog box open. Now we can define uh, the parent child settings. Click on the parent child settings button. This opens the parent child relationship table settings dialog box. 
let me resize this on in here go ahead and click the select parent child relationship table button in this dialog box select d51 sales rep parent child alice first highlight it then click on the select button it is now displayed here in the parent child relationship table column on the column details, select member key to member key, parent key to ancestor key, relationship distance to distance, then leaf node identifier to is leaf. Click OK to close the dialog box. Click OK again to close the logical dimension dialog box. Right click on the H5 sales rep and then click expand all. In here, we'll delete all columns except sales rep name and sales rep number. Select these other columns, right click and then click delete. You should now have only two columns from the detail level. Double click the detail level in the logical level dialog box. Click on the keys tab. Let me just resize the box and the sections so we can see clearly. Go ahead and create a new key. Name it display key. There we go. For the column, choose a sales rep name column. Deselect the use for display for sales rep number but select, uh, select it for the sales rep name. Confirm that D50 sales rep key is the member key and then click OK to close the logical level dialog box. Nextly, let's go ahead and expand the F1 revenue table. Expand sources folder and then double click LTS1 revenue. In the logical table source dialog box, click on content tab select the logical level for h5 sales rep uh, to detail click ok to close the logical table source dialog box now we need to create the presentation layer objects let's drag d5 sales rep from the bmm layer to sample sales subject area in the presentation layer there we go we can expand D5 sales rep and confirm the hierarchy is present. Right click D5 sales rep and rename it to sales reps. Go ahead now and right click on sample sales. Move sales rep table above best fit and then click OK. Expand sales rep. Double click H5 sales rep to open the presentation hierarchy dialog box. Confirm that sales rep name is uh, the display column, then click OK to close the dialog box. I'll minimize these right here. Set the repository and check uh, consistency. Once done, guys, next thing is to test our work. Click on file, then close the repository. Go ahead and log into Enterprise Manager. Once logged in, click on lock and edit configuration. Close the confirmation box when it pops. I click on choose file, select the repository, and then click open. Enter the repository password. Confirm the password. When done, click Apply button. Click also on Activate Changes. Close the confirmation when it opens. Go ahead and click on Restart to apply recent changes. Click the Restart button and confirm Yes for all BI components. Close the confirmation and then go to BI Analytics. Click on Analysis, then Sample Sales. Expand Sales Rep. 
double click to select H5 sales rep. Select also position column and then from best fact select revenue. Click on results. You can now expand uh, through the levels. For each level, there is also different revenue amount. We are done for now guys. Stay tuned for next tutorial on creating logical dimensions with the right and skilled level hierarchies. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.